You know, it's typical right-wing talking point to try and pin the blame for the failure of the American auto industry on the Democrats and labor unions. You know, think hard for a second. Just think. Think for a second about what cars, what kind of cars the American automakers were selling to the American public. Were they selling fuel-efficient small models that were reliable? No. No, they weren't. You know what they were selling? They were selling these monster Hummers and pickup trucks and basically these gas geysers that people can't afford to drive now. You know, people have been more than reminded of the cost of energy. This summer spike in the price of gas, up to four bucks a gallon, has reminded people that maybe it's not in their best interest to buy the biggest freaking thing on the lot, okay? That perhaps they uh, start thinking about something that's more fuel efficient, something that's a little more practical, and not something that looks good in advertisement for NFL games during the weekend, all right? So <laughs> the executives, the executives made nothing but bad decisions. It had nothing to do with the labor unions. The labor unions were not making decisions about what models to build, okay? It was the executives who decided what they were going to build and what they were going to sell, and that's where they fucked up, all right? Don't blame the Democrats. Don't blame the labor unions. Blame the executive staff for making bad decisions. That's all.